I'm Christian Lamacher for Country Music News International and today on the show we have Kristen Merlin. Kristen, welcome. Thank you very much. How are you? Kristen, it's our first time here on CRS. So please can you introduce yourself just a little bit more to our readers and listeners who are hearing about you for the first time. Well, my name is Kristen Merlin and I am from Boston, Massachusetts and my first time at CRS as well. <laughs> um, I currently just came off of season six of NBC's The Voice, uh, finishing fourth place. And recently I just released my own EP called Boomerang. What did The Voice brought to your career? The Voice gave me a great platform to jump off of. It was a tremendous exposure and I got to really become family with so many talented artists. Why did you move to the country music business and not as example to rock or pop? When I was home doing all the cover stuff, I was all over the place with genres, but all the time I would keep hearing like your country, your country and I never really stopped to think about it until being on The Voice and uh, I really started to look at myself as an artist and what I had to bring to the table and um, I realized that my voice did lend itself to the country genre and I love the storytelling behind it and when I write that's kind of how I write as well so it, it just kind of fit nicely together. What's a better job to writing songs or performing? For me I think it would be performing and especially when I get to perform what I write then, then it really makes it the wow factor for me. So, folks, by the way, that's her current EP we see here, and there are a couple of songs on it. Which is your favorite? I do have to say Confusion might be my favorite, only because it's, it's, it's kind of my baby song. I've always had that one, and we've kind of redone it several times, to now we're, I like this version of it. Um, but Boomerang was really cool for me to add into it, too. Since you're in the spotlight of the public, uh, what changed into your life? A lot of things changed. It's no quick trip to the market anymore, <laughs> but uh, it's really nice when I have that recognition from what I've done. And, and the the best part about it has been the emails that I've gotten, or you know, face to face conversations with fans, and the inspiration that I've brought to those people, and the stories that they have to you know tell me how I helped them get through things, or, or what I inspired them to do and chase their dreams. That's really moving for me. So probably I believe your Facebook page bumped up. Or it, it did. And my Twitter for sure, I went from 700 followers to like 46,000, like overnight almost. So that was pretty awesome. So when you Twitter something, do you have to be ca take care about what you Twitter? I do. And I've always kind of tried to be respectful because you never know who's looking at anything. And you don't ever want to offend anybody, especially, you know, unintentionally or not. Um, you always just want to have that most respect for everybody that, you know, is, is supporting you. Do fans give you the space when you go to the grocery? <laughs> they do. I haven't encountered anything that was too obtrusive, but um, I, I love meeting them. So I, I, I never want them to feel too embarrassed or shy or, or, you know, have them miss the opportunity of coming over and just, you know, having a conversation with me. So what's the best thing since, um, yeah, you're in the middle of the spotlight and what are the things which you say, well, if I would know that, that that happens, hmm. I think knowing what I went through and how everything, the outcome was, I would do it all over again um, because I've never been in a better spot now. I've never had so many connections with different music people or been so driven to take the next step in my career. What's now the point where you say, um, I have the AP, I want a full LP? I'm actually in the process right now of writing more songs and actually trying to either co-write or find other songs that will really fit the sound and the feel that I want for the, uh, the full length album. So I'm excited to finish it. So I hope that you will have such a lot of success with your EP and with the upcoming LP might be um, and hope to see you soon. Appreciate it. Thank you so and much. And let us know and our readers and listeners Definitely. again where they can follow you. You can follow me at kristenmerlin.com and when you go to that home site you can find all of my other social medias. So it's usually just at Kristen Merlin for everything else. I'm Christian Lamichka for Country Music News International. See you soon folks here in Nashville, Tennessee.